say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> that was the best. Hi guys, it's Sophie from a few months ago. So I've traveled time. I mean, it would have been cooler if I was from the future, but I'm not. But anyway, um, Charlie's currently napping and I thought that I would show you guys because um, I'm doing her anniversary present and obviously by now, by the time you see this, um, she would have already received it so it wouldn't matter that I'm filming it. So I thought I'd show you. Um, it's our seventh anniversary, so it's wool and copper. Um, and I'm going to try and incorporate both into this. So this is what I've got so far. This is the stencil that I made on the Cricut. And basically, what this is, is this is needle felting. And I've got lots of different colours of wool and these are literally all wool fibers that haven't been spun into yarn yet and you take them you can mix them up and stuff and then you use a needle which has got let's see if i can show you guys without stabbing myself you can see little nudges on it is that even the word I don't know but yeah you can see little um, like hooks on it and basically what that does is when you stab it through repeatedly it pulls nudges through um, and then it sort of attaches them all together and this is what it looks like on the back at the moment which is pretty cool um, but yeah, so this is basically going to be my representation of a place called Athelstan's Tower in Exeter and we went there on our first date. So yeah, I thought that that would be really cool. I usually tend to do things like for quite a few creative ones because every year I try to do something that I make we both do really um but a lot of the time like with drawing ones and stuff I've done pictures of me and Charlie but I thought that I wanted to try something different because I could have I could have felted um like a picture of us but yeah, I just thought that this was a, this was a cool idea, and it's, it doesn't matter if it doesn't look exactly like it because it's my interpretation. And yeah, so this is what it looks like so far. I may or may not um, remember to update you as I'm going because um, obviously, as I said, this is like a month and a half before our anniversary, and I've been doing this for about a month already not solidly like I've been sort of like every now and again I'll just do a little bit um but I'm starting to pick it up a little bit more now because I've only got like a month left um but yeah so I wanted to show you guys um in case you'd never seen or heard of needle felting before um it's really fun and I've got under here this foam block this I don't actually like this one because it's it's polystyrene we didn't know it's going to be polystyrene when we ordered it it look this is like if i run my finger across you can see the fresh polystyrene which is solid and then it dips in where i've needled because obviously it's popped with the little plastic bubbles so so that's not particularly helpful we thought it was going to be sponge um like sponge foam which is a lot better to use because it doesn't um like deflate basically um but yeah so i've got to try and keep moving it around to get into bits that are padded otherwise this happens that's the needle if you can't tell but yeah so if i remember any other facts about needle felting 
while I'm doing it or any other tips or anything, then I will tell you. But I haven't done this in years, so I probably won't remember. But yeah. So as you can see, it's another different day. Um, I haven't been great this week. Um, so I'm staying at home and we've got Fernie the dog was sit dog sitting so um, I'm staying at home with them and Charlie's gone out um, because we need some more um, of the dent uh, chew stick things for the girls for their bedtimes and also some more milk so she's gone out she's been really brave um, I, I wouldn't be going out on my own but she's doing really good um, and I'm going to be doing more of her anniversary present so I thought that I would show you um, the difference in the foam blocks because um, we finally managed to find one that is actually what I wanted because I'm pretty sure I said to you in the last video that the foam this foam block that I was using before because it's polystyrene not foam it like sinks I don't know if you can it goes like this once the needles have um, sort of been stabbed into it because it pops the bubbles whereas this it's high density foam so it's actually it's actually sponge type thing so spongy type foam polystyrene so don't recommend this because it's a waste of money and quite honestly you'll just have issues with it whereas this however is much better and it'll work better plus this is actually thicker so possibly even less likely to stab yourself in it in it with it but yeah so i'm going to carry on now um for the time that charlie's not here and then i'll probably might do some more this evening when we're sat down here and she's on her iPad and I'm I'm got nothing else to do. So watch this space. So I am currently sat in the offending chair from the other day. Um and we're waiting, well, I'm waiting for the stairlift people to come and um, service the stairlift. Um, they were supposed to be here this morning, it's now half twelve, so, and we've not had a phone call or anything. So, I'm guessing they're just delayed and they just haven't had the courtesy to tell us. Um, but Charlie's napping, the girls are just chilling out, and I figured that... I've got 15 days, 14 days, because it's in 15 days it's our anniversary, so I've got 14 days to finish Charlie's present. So I thought that I'd come and do some more, and I just wanted to show you what my next step is. <coughs> Abba, can you get off of me, please? So I've got like this colour here. And I'm changing it up a bit with some oranges and things like that. And what I'm doing is I'm holding it thin. And then in between all of these little bits, which are like the bricks and things, I'm just um, doing a thin line between all of it so that it's like the, um, like the mortar kind of stuff. And this is what it looks like so far. And yeah. It's coming, it's coming along really well. I've got quite a lot left to do, but hopefully, hopefully I will get it done.
I've been busy at work with Charlie's anniversary present again. Um, as I presume you would probably have guessed, considering that's what this vlog is about. Um, and I've made quite a bit of headway on it. It's looking pretty good, I think. Um, sorry that you're looking at my forehead, I'm just moving things out of the way so I don't lose them. But, I'll just show you what I've done so far. So this is how it looks so far. So I've just got like a, a plant up here to do and then like random bits of extra greenery down here, some across here and then I've got to work on the gardeny bit and the fencing and like the, the gate and the things that go through there. Um, for which I've got copper wire. Um, but I wanted to show you how I'm doing like the plant because obviously from what you've seen so far I've pretty much just stabbed stuff okay, there we go I've just like using this one I just poke it in there and then it flattens it out but I'm trying to do like 3d effect sort of at the moment so what I'm doing is to make a bush I've made this little teardroppy shape and I've made other get off of I've made like other miniature ones. Maybe you can see it now. I've made miniature ones as well of different varying colours. I'm gonna be making more to go onto this one. Um and then I'll attach them at an angle like this and attach them to it and then just put this one in the thing so that it's like a 3D bush um, kind of plant type thing but yeah. So the next step that I'm doing is I'm making the metalwork to put into it and inside of these like hole, they're holes in the actual tower because they're like the window holes um, they've got these bars that go up, um, it's literally just like one bar in the centre of each hole, but they are in a lot of shadow at the top, so I've, um, what I've done is I've just poked, oh, just poked a bit of wire through and looped it on the back and just done it so that it didn't go all the way up because obviously the top part's in shadow, so hopefully I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. Um, and next, I'm making the gate for, oh, sorry, for the hole. I know that this side is too big, but it's because I'm trying to get a bit of perspective. And because in the picture the gate's open, I want it to be open like this. But I know that if I do them the same size, I don't think it's, it's not going to give the right amount of perspective that I want it to give. So I've done it this way. I'm going to move that up more to the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I've got this thick, this thicker wire and I've got this slightly thinner wire and I'm going to be putting like strips of it down in the center to make like a, um, like a barred gate. So yeah, I'll try and show you guys a bit of how I do, how I'm doing that.
So that's the first part. I put the first one through the hole of this part and I'll do it with the last one over here as well. Just in an attempt to sort of like keep it where it is. Um, but the other ones I am going to um, weave one in front and then one behind and then one in front and just keep like that so it sort of keeps it there. Um, and what I did with the top is I sort of did it like this. So that, because on the top of the gate in the photo, it's got like the spikes on the top that a lot of like metal sort of gates have. Um, and I wanted to try and get something similar to that. So I've done it like this. Um, whereas on the bottom, I've just decided to just make it just tight and smooth. So yeah, so I'm gonna gap the next ones a little bit more, f like a bit further away than this one, but this one was more of like a support for this. But yeah, so, and it's quite pliable as well, so, which is good because it means that I can keep bending them into shape. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you when I've done it. So I found a flaw in my design. Um, the bars, because they were just loose on there, there was nothing, like they kept sliding into each other and I couldn't separate them out. So what I did was I got um, some of my thickest wire, made little loops like this, and um, just like squished them in between. So now they've got separators. Um, and as I put more bars up, um, it'll keep them separated then which is really cool because it actually means that it can have gaps between them like a normal gate would so yeah so I'm just gonna carry on now um, obviously some people watching this may be very technical and may have much better solutions but I am definitely not someone who does things the way they should be done so I just sort of like play around and as you can see motion detected at the front door and here we have the gate I just want to make a fix in now that means that it can stay at this kind of angle in the frame and yeah, I'm actually pretty pleased with how that turned out. It's actually quite sturdy as well, which is pretty nice. But yeah, it's super cute. Nina love it. Yes. So back onto Charlie's present. Um, I tried to put my felt in piece, which is finished, into the frame, and there's a really big gap next to it. Um, so I got the rest of the branch that I used for Dad's owl um, and I'm going to be using that to fill out the space. Um, I've carved a really small, can you see it, a really small heart, like it's teeny tiny, it's smaller than my finger, um, and put inside um, C and S, made with bending wire, I'll put pictures in, um, and I'm also making um, loads of felt leaves um, so that I can sort of like attach it to bits of this and make it look like it's hanging down and everything, um, and that's pretty much all I've got left to do, I mean it's still a pretty big task but it's pretty much all I've got left to do and then Charlie's present's going to be done. Um, unless I decide to put anything else in it, which, who knows, I am one of these people that struggles to stop. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to carry on making leaves and making them the same way as I made the other little ones the other day, where I just sort of make like a rough little shape, um, and then hold it at the edges, like this, and then stab the needle through carefully, um, or you stab yourself like I did the other day. <laughs> Um, and then just shape it until you get like little leaf shapes. But yeah, so I'm gonna carry on doing that now. Um, hopefully the next time you see anything, everything might be done. We'll have to see.
So, I finally finished Charlie's present. I just need to clean the glass on the front of the frame. Um, but I'm about to go wake her up and I couldn't hold it in anymore, I had to show you guys. So, I'm about to flip the camera around, show you a present that I'm extremely proud of. Here it goes. So this is it. And this is it with the light on. So you can see it all in one go. That's what it looks like. And it opens up, which means that you can flip this switch. And you can see it all to me, which is really cool. And what I thought was a really cute touch is it comes off and made its own little hook. And I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm really proud of this present. It's really cool. But yeah, and obviously, as previously mentioned, the uh, traditions and not quite so traditions for this anniversary are wool, which is here, and on the leaves, up there, and copper, which is here, and on the branches. So you can kind of see what I've done there. And then there's the tower, with all of its things. Finito. I, I really love it. I think it's really cool and I'm very proud of it and you can kind of see my face in that and you can see how proud I am. So this is it. All my hard work and it has definitely paid off. I'm, I'm chuffed quite honestly. I know you can see the batteries but I don't really care. And my final favourite touch is I carved a tiny heart and put a tiny CNS in it and then filled it with resin. It's like if you see like the size of the thing, it's such a small detail that I just couldn't resist but putting it in. And I just think that it's something that would be really nice for her to like look at it and then she'll just be like, oh my god, you carved our names in there. Because as you've, prob you've probably seen, in the bedroom behind the bed, um, there's a frame with a piece of bark in it that um, was one of the first presents that Charlie got me. I can't remember if it was, was it for our, might have been for our wooden anniversary. I don't remember. I don't remember um, off the top of my head, but it was one of the gifts that she gave me and she carved our initials into the wood and it was really cute. And we still got it. So hopefully this will be another one to add to the keeping it forever books. I hope she likes it.